to yet another interview at the Masters Clash. I'm sitting here with Michael Udall. Perfect. Then we are back for another match report, and I've been joined by Tempest Lockdown. We are rolling. <laughs> okay, so we are here today with our last match report with 30k. What are we expecting here? Well, the Tarsa team is... <laughs> oh, Basket, We both took months. a nice little pause to see who starts. <laughs> we started the exact same time. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll kick it off. I've just... With a 4,000 shield, what can they expect to get? Just towers or... Can I they mean, we're still quite even in the XP here. Like, Winnery is actually a little bit in the lead. So, um, they, they have one man down, but it's already respawning pretty fast. So... I think Winterin should have an easy defense. They've got, but but still humble, you know. They they uh they they're like, yeah, we 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 just came in here and we're gonna we're gonna give it our best. Um, but they're feeling really confident right now, winning this. And then uh, yeah, yesterday we're like, yeah, we we we've actually got possibility to win the land here. Him, the cleanse got a long time ago, and so he earned the tight the MVP support of this tournament. Go in. Show me MVP. Oh. I, am MVP I the, no, I'm the MVP. Sorry. The arrow. The arrow, the flip, and the throw! Bergold! He got the throw off on Shrimpy! The, the sanctification comes in through the Entomb, through the Phoenix. This is it! Wind and Rain are living! They're I actually living. The sappers arrive and they want to go through. They get shielded by Wit and there's more coming in and they go through. What did I even just witness? What you just witnessed was... That was the most clutch follow-up of ultis that I've ever seen, but it was so well executed here. I feel like this is now, it's the time for, for the blue team to uh, back it up really, really fast. Oh, no. Hustle misses his dismount. He might get caught here. Gets switched by Marla. He's dead. He is just dead. Uh, Marwin's here. Gets oh, big the cleanse just from out, but Shelvin takes the taunt to the face, and oh. he might be the one to fall here instead. He's oh. 1 HP. Oh my god, he is actually living. Oh, the skewer onto Wit, the mind control. Wit is falling low, but oh, the dragon's arrow so savagely finishes off Rexar here. And they're looking for more. Look at that. Nano Booster Taluf runs forward. Taluf, Taluf, Taluf is on fire. Oh, pressure. Oh, a lot more on the healing as we see the poison over coming out alongside the dragon arrow. X ray is falling extremely low, but Ultralis trying to sustain here on the front line is Cassia. Goes forward, there is the judgment coming out alongside the seven sided strike. But Chelvin, no mana, no HP, so low. They have to go back. But the focus is, of course, Jarvan. The tidal wave is there. Both of them go golden as Nautilus finds the hook. The Emperor divide there to look and divide the team up. But it's going to be the Azir that's going to go first. The soul has been taken though by the nuclear Vikings as they still try to hold on. But the Jarvan is going to fall as well. Ninto trying to get away with his life. But there is no getting away from the quarter kill that Olaf just provided for the blue team. But yeah, Spell, you have been performing extremely well this last series. Um, I'm just wondering, you pick a lot of Diablo and a lot of really proactive tanks, like aggression is, is the name of the game here, and you keep getting away with everything. How do you do it? Standing here with the Hardos today, today, just now, and uh, they just won their match against Chili Mountain, knocking them out. Guys, what are your first thoughts here? Relieved not to be last place. From 30k, Michael, you are here all the way from the US. Um, what are your impressions so far? Well, I mean, first off, France is beautiful. <laughs> uh, Tell me, what's going through your heads right now? The first super humble thought, you over NA. <laughs> Humble, humble flex. No. So, uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, so we're just going to keep doing what works for us. So you're not going to play reactive, you're just going to do your own thing, is what you're, what you think? Keep on doing what we're doing, because it's uh, working out so far, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. That was uh, for the stream. That was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and don't forget to join us tomorrow again at 11 a.m. in Miami time. See you tomorrow. <laughs> buckle up for tomorrow. And you too, Twitch chat. Buckle up for tomorrow because we're back at 11 a.m. Miami time. So be there. We were going to see the grand final. So be sure to be back tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful evening.